What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. Ah, and you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Uh, uh. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyiki. Ah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger, or a lion, or a zebra, just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam? It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Ready, boy? to you. I'll be quick. You need to calm down. There you go. Calm yourself. Your stripes better not rub off on my pants. Zebra. Well, you can call him that. Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. 
Hoodwink your audiences? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry. It's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please, I hate to ask. All right. See what I can do. Let's go, boy. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, I found your caravan down the way. Margaret said you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You are lying from Timbuktu, weren't he? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Uh, of course. <laughs> Which way did he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop on that wagon and uh, I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of. I got it. You paint this up? There's some in here.
Looks like... Looks like blood to me. Ah, shit. What's this? Ah, <sighs> I found your dog. Next dog. Next hey, dog. boy. Next line. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> Huh. Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. <sighs> Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar. You mean? And I end up losing a lion. Ah, uh, dog. Ain't having any luck. If that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs? Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shh, shut it. Wow. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Girl. All right, let's go. We got her. Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Wild creatures turn on each other. Seemingly friend one minute, dinner the next. This just comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. John Marston. Nice to meet you, sir. Throw their hat in the ring. Maybe 
one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We'll lose an axle in this ground. And maybe an animal, too. We lost the main road around here, when the dust was up. This is the kind of speed you're meant to take in a dust storm. Be careful, or you might get wrecked, too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Oh, you managed it yourself. I just helped you along. Do you ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. Uh, I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarring and feathering a donkey's one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint, makeup. But you go playing dress-up dolls with a wild animal? You better be a whole lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Well, she liked him fine. Licked her chops and asked for seconds. Speaking of which, you got word on the other runaway lion or... You don't pay me for these misfits. Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. A dog? A big dog around here? Oh, I don't know what I see, but they got a trap in the lawn there. Okay. Hold your side! I am holding it! Hold Get yours! Back. We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. It looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me, step aside. What? I said, step aside. Here, boy. Didn't look like no dog. Go on, boy. Let's go home. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. I'll, I'll take care of this.
sweet mother of... Oh, oh there. Oh, easy, boy. Shit! Man-eating lion? You didn't think it might be useful for me to know that that escaped animal was actually real? You moron! Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand. And they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. It was him or me. Now pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Daddy ain't here. We had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Marston. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. All in good time, my dear. Look, we really are looking for a traveling companion. <laughs> 